Afternoon YouTubers. Hopefully this vid's gonna work. Oh, I've got no idea. The first time I've used me Drift HD, the mini one. Arrived about an hour ago this morning. And so this is the first time I've really used it. Uh, I've got the latest firmware and everything on there, so it's all good. Go on, Terry! And so, anyway, I'm back. What I've with me GoPros, you might have seen from my previous video, is basically I messed up. I walked away from the bike, with the external mic still plugged in when the bike was on the mic. And that led to me bending the jack. Got a quote last night off a company on the internet. It's so 32 quid to fix it. No idea why I don't thought about it sooner. So I might do that next month when I get paid. Um, yeah, so put a pro, uh, vlog updates basically. Uh, came on, I dropped this thing yesterday. I dropped Samantha yesterday. No idea how it happened because I rested it on the side and it still managed to go over on the other side, so the expensive side of the exhaust and everything. So that cost me a fair bit of damage. I'm currently missing the end of my brake lever. There you go. And I'm also missing the orange coating off the indicator which is going to get fixed when I get paid in two weeks. And then it's got to go in for the MOT and I'm hopefully getting a lot of other work done on it as well. So, anyway, um, yeah, so first one is Zombie Acopolips. What would I do if I had zombies chasing after me? Quite simple. Get Miranda Hart in between them to make them all laugh. You know, might as well go out the shining. And try and get over to Australia because it's so flipping hard to get into. I was looking at emigrating over there for a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago because I'd love to go over there. And I always like if I like something to be able to stay there. The things they need from you, they, they've got the right idea. Uh, you know, so uh, yeah, so go to Australia. Zombies won't get in. Chances are they need one eye. So yeah, um, another one. Ooh, what was it? Ah. God, I do what I do, I'll get. I'll get into biking. Basically, I've never really been much of a biker fan before I started riding. And too far, I'm not too fussed about watching them on TV or, or anything. Because by the time I hear all the fairies scraping along the round because they've came off, it just takes me back to when I first came off. So I don't really like watching it. Um, yeah, so why do I get into it? I just did all the pricing checks. Realised it was a heck of a lot cheaper. So I got into bikes and I've got no plans whatsoever on getting a car license done. Unless I join the police force. Because one of the options, your backup plan as it were, is join the police force and try in the long run to get into the uh, police motorcycle side of it. Because so that's what I want to be the instructors to improve road safety. So see what happens with that lot. Uh, yeah, but the initial plan, career plan, is wait two and a half years, stay where I'm doing because it's an easy job. And then, um, come August the 11th, 2014, not long counting, is Trev the motorbike instructor. Because I already did advanced stuff, but I know I'm probably going to have to do the CBTs and everything just to pay the bills. But I am mostly about road safety. So yeah, that should be good. Oh, I'm trying to think now. What, what are the other ones? Uh, First Love. Go on, that's an old one from uh, that man from Yorkshire. Uh, First Love, well, probably the only love I've ever really had was a girl called Jane. Now, I was pining over and we only got close for about six months, but she was an amazing girl. And I mean, she was everything any decent guy could dream of. She was gorgeous, she was funny, she got me through who I am, which is quite rare for girls. Because I normally keep them at arm's length because I've been messed about in the past. And it took me a good four years to get over her. I only really got over her about two months ago and I looked up on Facebook again. I realised she was still with a guy that I 
basically fell over, fell out of the rover. Because long and short of it, I got stupidly jealous of him and tried to, you know, see that he was a right foot and all of that lot, and I lost big time. So yeah, so um, I looked up on Facebook a couple of months ago and saw that she was still with him. So it's just like, well, walking away from her rather than being pushed is probably better in the long run. Because at least she's happy. And <laughs> now I don't not hate myself for it so much, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, come on, another one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, politicians. That's it. Just my nipple. There you go. That's another one. Politicians to my head in. You're all in this together. Pardon my French, but bollocks. How can they say they're the same league as us? I mean, we're only, well, I want minimum wage, so I'm only about nine grand a year. I mean, even people who are 30, 40 grand a year are having trouble a lot of the time. And I'm just like, they're on multi millions of pounds for basically doing naff all. Except for sitting in meetings all day, it's not hard. It's the same as footballers. Footballers do me head in. Because it's just like, um, they're on silly, silly amounts of money for kicking the ball around. Now, I reckon what they should do is swap the wages over and give that sort of money to people like the soldiers, nurses and police officers. Because they're putting their lives on the line day in, day out, and for what? I mean, a private of the army is on about 17 grand a year. That's it. And for dodging bullets, it's not worth it, in my book. Because I was thinking about joining the army as well and going into the motorbike side of it on the uh, Royal Logistics Corps. And I saw wages and the amount of risk they go into. I mean, I've got so much respect for those guys if they do it. Because <laughs> it certainly ain't for the money. That's one thing for sure. Right, uh, another thing that Tris my nipple is these glossy mags are like, okay and really and all of that. These ones that have all these like supermodel babes in there. Rubbish. They're not supermodels. Give me a nice natural girl who doesn't feel the need to put a ton of makeup on every day. And I'm there. No, no. Give me a that size six skin insect. And <laughs> see you later, love. You know, it's not worth it in my book. Be happy with who you are. No, no. So anyway, um, go oh, on, number one. There's another one I was going to do, I can't remember. I emailed all these to um, that man from Yorkshire. So yeah, uh, um, got a couple of ideas for future vlogs. One of them, certain people might be interested in, and it's an advanced ride. Now, I don't have any official advanced riding qualifications, but I've read a book um, a lot of times, and it's the most boring read in the world, but it's saved my life so many times, and it is called um, Police Motorcycle Rosecraft. And basically, it gives you the basics of how a police rider rides. And I like up in the place, just like most bikers. And if I were for that bike, book, I'd be dead about six, seven times over from going too hot into corners, not seeing things I should have seen. Uh, another idea is going to probably... Oh, I can't know. I'm rubbish at this. Anyhow, yeah, I'm always at work. Don't want to see where I work, because as I told Bloody Blah 52, I think it was. Oh, cut the garage! Hey! I'll rip you both day in, day out. Anyway, see you later. Ta-ta!